Deep within the English countryside lies the UK's most ambitious and controversial mega project in history. This is Hinkley Point C, a massive nuclear power plant nearly the size of Monaco, designed to power 6 million homes and secure Britain's energy future. But here's the problem. It's supposed to make Britain more energy independent, yet it's being built by a French company with financial backing from China. It's supposed to be great for the environment, yet some of its biggest critics are environmentalists. And not only that, it was meant to be a technological marvel, yet it's nearly a decade behind schedule, and the cost has skyrocketed from $22 billion to a staggering $57 billion. This is Britain's $57 billion gamble for its energy future. To understand why Hinkley Point C is such a big deal, we need to go back to the 1950s, when Britain stood at the forefront of nuclear power. In 1956, Queen Elizabeth II inaugurated the world's first full-scale nuclear power station at Calder Hall in Cumbria. It is with pride that I now open Calder Hall, Britain's first atomic power station. It revolutionized Britain's energy future, reducing its reliance on coal and boosting energy independence. Over the next two decades, Britain doubled down on nuclear power, with Hinkley A being built in 1965, followed by Hinkley B in 1976. Each one bigger, more advanced, and a testament to Britain's energy ambitions. Hinkley Point C was a continuation of this. But then, on April 26, 1986, everything changed. The number 4 RBMK reactor at the nuclear power plant at Chernobyl, Ukraine went out of control, leading to a humanitarian disaster of unspeakable proportions. It was a warning sign of just how dangerous a nuclear reactor can be. In the aftermath of Chernobyl, a Stop Hinkley expansion campaign was launched by Greenpeace and other activists. The British public didn't want any more nuclear power plants and wanted to close its existing ones. As a result, Hinkley A was decommissioned in 2000, and in 2006, Hinkley B was reduced to 70% of its capacity. By the late 20th century, nuclear energy wasn't just about innovation anymore. It was something to be feared. But Britain still needed power. Fossil fuels were running out, and renewable energy, while promising, wasn't enough at the time to keep the lights on. The country desperately needed a solution, something big, something reliable. And that's when a new plan took shape. The UK government had initiated its own nuclear renaissance. In 2008, Prime Minister Gordon Brown announced the development of at least eight new nuclear stations, and at the forefront was Hinkley Point C the largest and most expensive nuclear project in the UK's history. Few construction projects in the world can match the sheer scale and ambition of Hinkley Point C. This nuclear power plant is so vast that its footprint covers 175 hectares, making it seven times larger than Hinkley A or B combined. However, this all changed when another earth-shattering event took place in March of 2011. On the 11th of March, a tsunami hit the Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power plant in Okuma. Much to the entire world's relief, no immediate deaths were directly linked to this disaster, but nuclear power was seen as a danger once again. In the aftermath, there was definitely a sense of unease about building Hinkley Point C, but by 2013, Prime Minister David Cameron approved its construction with extra added safety measures. But before anything could be built, the foundations of Hinkley Point C had to be reinforced to an extreme degree. This wasn't just about laying concrete, it was about stabilizing the ground for one of the most complex nuclear power stations ever attempted. Engineers drilled thousands of deep piles into the earth, ensuring that the plant could withstand everything from natural disasters to the weight of its own enormous structures. Approximately 3 million tons of concrete was poured to stabilize its foundation, which is more than the Shard, Wembley Stadium, and London Olympic Park combined. This much concrete is enough to fill 75 Olympic swimming pools. But securing the foundation was just the beginning. Assembling the massive reactor components required something far beyond. 
That's where the big Carl comes in, the world's largest crane. Standing at a towering 250 meters tall and capable of lifting 5,000 tons in a single move, that's the weight of a thousand elephants. Or an entire Boeing 747 loaded with fuel and passengers. Big Carl has been assembling the 56-meter-wide steel domes that enclose each reactor, a delicate, high-stakes process that must be executed with absolute precision. Just one mistake could set the project back by months, if not years. And to construct something of this scale, manpower is just as important as machinery. At its peak, the project has seen over 10,000 workers on site at once, engineers, welders, electricians, and specialists from all over the world, working in shifts day and night to push the project forward. And to house this many workers, an entire village has been built from the ground up. This temporary settlement is complete with over 1,000 bed accommodations, dining halls, recreation areas, and even a gym. It's a small city dedicated entirely to bringing Hinkley Point C to life. At the site, the two reactor buildings are fitted with the latest EPR reactors, which are among the most sophisticated and safest ever designed. Each one has a double-walled containment structure with walls up to 3.2 meters thick, built to withstand earthquakes, floods, and even aircraft impacts. And at the heart of it all is the reactor pressure vessel, a 600-ton steel structure designed to hold the superheated steam that drives the plant's massive turbines. Here, every single weld and every single bolt must be checked and rechecked to ensure it meets even the most stringent safety standards. Despite all of this cutting-edge technology and engineering brilliance, the project has faced delays, cost overruns, and logistical nightmares. When Hinkley Point C was first approved in 2013, it was supposed to be completed by 2025 at a cost of $28 billion. But since then, the timeline and budget have spiraled out of control. By 2017, the project was already behind schedule, with costs increasing by $1.9 billion. By 2018, the price tag had jumped by another $4 billion. And to make matters worse, the COVID-19 pandemic and Russia-Ukraine war further disrupted supply chains, pushing the completion date back even further. By 2024, the estimated completion date ranged from 2029 to 2031, with costs soaring to $57 billion or even higher. These constant delays were far from ideal, and the simplest explanation is a lack of practice. Unlike the Asian countries that build these plants all the time, Hinkley Point C was the first nuclear reactor built in Britain since 1995. The UK has also been faced with political instability since Brexit. Since the referendum, the UK has had five different prime ministers, which is the same number they've had in the past 37 years combined. And one of the most overlooked aspects is that, unlike the other Asian countries, there seems to be a lower sense of urgency. However, since Hinkley Point C started, certain things have changed that should encourage more urgency behind the project. The war in Ukraine disrupted supply chains, but was also a reminder that the UK needed to become more energy independent. Similarly, the threat of climate change has become more apparent with each passing year which should encourage the UK to increase its reliance on cleaner energy sources. Ultimately, nuclear power is perhaps needed more than it was when it was first proposed in 2008. But whether this project will deliver on its promises and hit its deadlines remains to be seen.